What you guys got a quick fix it video here for you on the PC keeps starting in safe mode. Now, if this is happening to you, then this video should easily resolve your problem. Pretty straightforward and easy to do. But first, let's have a quick word from today's sponsor, CD Key Sales. Now, CD Key Sales, if you're looking for a cheap Windows 10 Pro OEM key, then use the links in the video description. Use my promo code capital B capital R09. Apply this to your order. And then you can go over to the change product key on your Windows operating system, paste in that key and click next. And then it will activate your version of Windows 10 Pro or Windows 11 Pro. Links are in the video description. So here we have our PC that is started in safe mode. The simple solution to this is basically reset it. Now, if you're having still issues after this, then you may have an issue uh, with your OS. But first off, let's go to our C root directory. Now, for some reason, it's not allowing me to search for the command prompt inside safe mode in Windows 11. So I'm going to go to system 32 here inside Windows system 32 and look for CMD. And you should see the command prompt inside here. You'll see a little black prompt box here. Right click and run this as administrator. This will open up the command prompt box here. And from here, we're going to type in a command to reset it. So this is the command that we need to do here, which is bcd edit space forward slash delete value space braces current close braces space safe boot. Then push enter and this will say the operation completed successfully. Once you restart the system, the system should boot straight back into your normal desktop. So let's go ahead and give this a go to see if it works OK. So I'm going to go to the power button and restart. And then it should restart the system and you should start seeing the uh, login screen coming up on the screen very shortly. So you should now see the Windows logo. And once this gets past this stage, we should see the login screen and basically your login to your desktop. And there we go. That's how you can resolve that issue. So let's go back into safe mode and I'll show you the other option, which is probably the more favored option for most people. So we're back in safe mode here. And we're going to be using uh, the MS config panel. So right click on the start button and choose uh, run. Inside here, you need to type MS config just like this here. And then push OK and this will open up the panel so we can make some changes. This is the system configuration panel. Inside the boot tab here, you'll see there's a check mark in safe boot. You'll need to remove this. So you can then boot straight back to the desktop. So now click on apply and OK and then restart the system and restart. You should literally get back to the desktop. And if you can't remove this or you're having some sort of issue, there may be a problem with Windows itself where you may need to do a reset this PC if you're having uh, instances where it's not allowing you to make changes or it's con continually going back to the safe mode. So you can see here, we're back at the desktop here. I'm going to go back into safe mode one more time, and I'm just going to show you uh, one more thing here. So inside safe mode here, if you go to the settings pane on Windows, so let's go down to the start button here and then click on settings. Inside here on system, go to recovery. And once we see the recovery tab, click on this one, and you should see advanced startup. Click on this and restart now. You can hold the left shift key button down on your keyboard and it will take you into this panel here where you'll be able to make changes. So once we've done this, you should see this popping up here. And it's just saying, please wait. We need to let this load up. And then we should get the option uh, to go to troubleshoot here. There we go. And there we have the choose an option. So go down to troubleshoot and click on troubleshoot here and you can see reset this pc if you're having other issues you can use that feature there or you've got advanced options you've got start up repair and start up settings this gives you access to these areas here now you can see here there is an area that says start up settings click this and restart this will then take you to another options page where we can choose to boot straight to the desktop which sometimes resolve the issue you can see here press enter to return to your operating system. When you press enter, this will reset it and you should get back to your desktop. 
very quick and easily. So let's go ahead and push enter and restart our system. And hopefully this will take us straight to uh, the desktop. And that's it really. There are three ways of trying to get back to your desktop and get out of safe mode. Uh, if you're still having issues, then you may have a problem with your operating system and you may need to use the reset this PC to put the system back. If your hard drive is failing or something along those lines, then you may still have issues and it may start going to safe mode for whatever reason. You may need to check your hard drive's health. I've done videos on that already, but anyway, that is about it for this video. I just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members who have joined my YouTube members group. I really do appreciate the support. Have a lovely weekend and I shall catch you in the next video. Thanks again for watching. Bye for now.